I think we can all agree that 2021 is going to be a better year for most people, but it will also be a better year for electric cars. I'm going to tell you about all of the exciting and quite impressive cars that are going to be on the road in 2021 and Tesla will finally have some real competition and us, the consumers, will finally have some real choices. So everybody wins and we're going to start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of electric car scoop. If you are interested in everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. Even the biggest Tesla fans want Tesla to have competition. Not only it will give them some choices for their next car or maybe their second car, but competition is good. It raises quality across the board and next year the competition is definitely going to widen which means that it will give us consumers more choices and i hope we all agree that's a good thing so let me tell you about 15 exciting electric vehicles that are going to be on the road in 2021 however i also included some that have already started deliveries in limited amounts but really won't ramp those up until 2021. Since we have a lot of cars to go through I will give you some basic tech and basic information about them and if you're interested in more details the chances are I have already made at least one video and you can find it in the library of my channel. By the way you are not going to see the Tesla Cybertruck in this video simply because the deliveries are not going to happen until 2022 but there is one Tesla that is still on the list so let's get going and we're gonna do it in the alphabetical order so we will start with Audi and Audi will have not one but two electric cars on the road next year and of course the first one is going to be the e-tron GT that one is based on the Porsche Taycan except for this one will have a more luxurious and nicer interior now the specs are not official yet but we're expecting about 220 miles of range and the price tag is going to be north of $100,000 but I think a lot of people will agree that it will be well worth it I had a chance to drive the e-tron GT prototype right after it's launched in Los Angeles and I have to say I really liked it as a matter of fact I liked it so much that Audi was so concerned that I was going to take off with it, they had to hire some cops to escort me around the town. In another electric vehicle we can expect from Audi in 2021 is the Audi Q4 e-tron. That's a crossover SUV. Uh, expect a price at around $45,000, definitely under fifty, dollars And the range should be at around $270 probably 280 miles now let's talk about the bmw ix that they are finally bringing to market they used to call it i next expect a price tag at around eighty thousand dollars with a range of about 300 miles that's pretty impressive the car is going to come out in europe first and then make its way to America in 2022. It has a pretty controversial design in and out. As you can see, they're doubling down on that grill, or as I call it, the monkey butt front. But you be your own judge. I think there will be plenty of people who will love to own this car. Let's talk about a very exotic brand called Bollinger, and they're going to be bringing their electric SUV and the pickup truck, the B1 and B2, to market at the price tag of $125,000 with a range of about 200 miles. Now, these have a very much an old school design. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of the vehicles that I grew up with in Russia in the 80s, but there will be plenty of people who will find these vehicles very different and very attractive, and they will be absolutely in love once they get them in their driveways. Now, let's talk about one of the most anticipated electric cars for 2021 but before that a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Axpeng Motors China's leading smart EV automaker that just announced its new autonomous driving architecture using a LiDAR for more follow Axpeng Motors on Facebook using the link in the description of this video and by newer charge already have a 240 outlet but want to charge two electric cars or maybe split it between a car and an appliance without spending tons of money on an electrician well check out the neo charge your plug and play solution get one today and use the discount code in the description of this video now let's talk about the ford mustang mach e i know a lot of people are waiting for this car it will have different versions with the maximum range of 300 miles of the epa range and the starting price will be just under 44 
thousand dollars the performance edition of its most powerful model the gt will do zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds and every buyer will get 250 kilowatt hours worth of free fast charging from electrify america i just came back from los angeles where i got to test drive this car and you will see my review in about a week and this car is fast maybe too fast now let's talk about the all-electric Hummer from General Motors. It will be on the roads by the end of the year with its most expensive version. It will be priced at $112,595 and it will have a range of about 350 miles. I have recently got to check out the Hummer EV myself in person and I have to say it's pretty impressive, especially their user interface and I think people who will get them will be very, very happy. Now, over the next three years, GM will produce cheaper versions of the electric Hummer with the cheapest one at just under $80,000 in the spring of 2024. From one of the most expensive EVs of the year to the cheapest EV of the year, of course, I'm talking about a new brand called Candy America and their K27 model priced at just under seventeen and a half thousand dollars that's before the federal tax incentive after the tax incentive it will be under ten thousand dollars it will have a limited range of 59 miles though it could be good enough for quite a few people and the top speed will be limited to 63 miles an hour another affordable model from candy is k23 it has almost double of the range of k27 at 111 epa miles and it will be priced under 27 and a half thousand dollars another new brand is going to be coming to market in 2021 it is the lordstown motors it's a brand that came out of the trump administration's feud with general motors so lordstown motors came in got the factory that gm was trying to get rid of and now they will be making an all-electric pickup truck called endurance it will have the hub motors in all four of the wheels that will have a range of about 250 miles and the price tag will be 52 and a half thousand dollars now let's talk about a car that i'm sure all of you have already reserved maybe two in some cases of course i'm talking about the lotus avaya now this is a 2000 horsepower hypercar it will have a range of 250 miles though i'm not really sure why i think most lotus drivers drive that maybe in a month or so and of course at a very affordable price of 2.3 million dollars now kudos to lotus for being pretty much the first legacy sports car manufacturer to go for an all electric car and i hope lamborghinis and ferraris of the world will follow soon now let's talk some serious tesla competition and of course i am talking about the lucid motors one of the newer brands though they already have their own factory and they've been opening up showrooms around california and really around the country they have some really impressive specs for their all electric sedan air including the fastest charging rate in the industry of 350 kilowatts and this car will come with three years unlimited dc fast charging from electrify america a quarter mile on a racetrack is under 10 seconds really the best competition that tesla has seen in a while and the range of up to 517 miles the price range for the models that are coming out in 2021 will vary between 95 and 169 thousand dollars with the cheapest model coming in 2022 at 77,400 dollars from one of the most impressive electric cars of 2021 to the least impressive electric car of 2021 of course i am talking about the mazda mx30 now it will be priced pretty reasonably at 35,000 dollars but unfortunately its range is the biggest disappointment with only 124 miles of the epa range now let's talk about the electric car that has started with probably one of the most beautiful concept prototypes that i have ever seen and was able to drive myself that was a lot of fun but that's not what it's going to look like as a matter of fact we don't know yet what it's going to look like unless you're watching me sometime in 2021 but it will be on the market the range is expected to be anywhere from 300 to 400 epa miles obviously the price tag is going to be north of one hundred thousand dollars this is essentially going to be the electric version of the s-class for the mercedes-benz now i have to note 
that their pretty popular all-electric SUV that has been on sale in Europe, the EQC, is not coming to America in 2021 either. It took Nissan almost 10 years to come up with a second all-electric car, the first one being the Nissan Leaf that just celebrated a 10-year anniversary, but now we know that the Nissan Aria is going to be on the road by the end of 2021, and I gotta tell you, not only it's a good-looking SUV, it's got some really good specs, and it's priced very reasonably. The pricing will start at around $40,000, and it will have an EPA range of around 300 miles. Polestar 2 by Polestar, a brand owned by Volvo, has been on the market since October. That's when I had a chance to test drive it, and I gotta say, it's a good electric car. I think it's priced a little bit too high at just under $60,000. It has a range of about 233 miles but what i believe its best feature which is the android automotive operating system is just not developed enough to really brag about and their app store which once again i was really looking forward to is quite empty with about a couple of dozen of apps if polestar can get google to develop the operating system all the way and have enough apps in their app store then I think it will definitely be worth the price and something that a lot of people will specifically buy this car for. Rivian has been the brand that had the most hype in the last couple of years. Lots of interest from really big investors like Ford and Amazon and of course a lot of interest from the consumers. Everybody just cannot wait to see these trucks on the road. Of course, it's going to be the R01T, the electric pickup truck that will start at about $75,000 and the R1S, the SUV, priced at $77,500. Both will have a 300 mile range in 2021, but in 2022, they will have other models, including lower priced models and the models with the 400 mile range. Now let's talk about Tesla and technically they won't have a new model per se in 2021, but I am making an exception for the Tesla Model S Plaid mode. It will start at $140,000 and have a range of 520 miles, but will have a lot of other impressive specs, including a quarter mile in under nine seconds. And of course, it will be the first Tesla made with the new batteries created by Tesla and announced at the Tesla Battery Day. So this will be a big deal. Volvo is bringing an all-electric SUV to market, the XC40 Recharge. Essentially, it's an electrified version of the regular XC40 model, which I actually like. It will start at around $55,000 and have a range of 208 miles. Much like Polestar 2, the XC40 Recharge will run on the Android Automotive Operating System, but it may run into the same problem if Google doesn't develop it all the way for them either. It will also have the same problem as Polestar, I believe, and that's the price. I think it's priced a little bit too high, especially with all of the competition coming in the same year. And this brings me to the last car on the list. And even if we weren't doing this in alphabetical order, I would have still saved this car for last because I believe this is going to be the most successful new electric car on the market in 2021. I'm talking about the ID4 from Volkswagen. I believe this is going to be the best electric car for the value. It will start under $40,000, though it will have different versions throughout the year that will be coming out, including the dual motor. But when the factory in the United States opens in 2022, the starting price will fall to $35,000. I was able to test drive this car a couple of weeks ago, and I gotta say, it has one of the most impressive user interfaces that I have seen in a while. Even gesture controls, some basic swipe left and right gesture controls. It has some touch and slide controls all over the car it's a very good looking suv at least that's what i think it's got decent performance and very good range especially for the money you're paying for it and you get three years of unlimited dc fast charging from electrify america so as you can see the price versus value i think is what's going to make this the most successful new electric car of 2021 but only time will tell as a matter of fact, if you're wondering what to watch next, I have a full review of the Volkswagen ID4, which I have recently done after I've noticed that looking for a new car, which I am looking for one, is very much like looking for a relationship, which I am also looking for. 
So enjoy my Adam and EV edition of the electric car review on this channel. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Let me know which one is on top of your list. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.